time for a new vlog. So what's going on today, guys? Um, my day is actually going kind of pretty well. Just got on the computer, actually, because I had to run some errands this morning, and then I ate lunch, and then, well, at Subway. If you guys ever go to Subway, uh, there's this new, like, chicken salad they have called, like, the, um... Damn it, I forgot. Is it, just ask for the new chicken salad. And actually, I'm not really a big fan of chicken salad, mainly because I don't like a lot of mayonnaise, but... This chicken salad was pretty fucking awesome. It really was. I actually enjoyed my lunch. For you know, normally at Subway I, I eat like a horse. I just swallow it down. But I actually enjoyed my lunch today, which is actually kind of good. Anyways, I'm seventy four point nine mil fletching experience. Yeah, you know it's kind of it's kind of strange. Like I'm going to look at these vlogs probably like later on when I reflect on them. I'm not sure how many vlogs I'm going to make before I really reflect. Maybe like six months or maybe half a year, and then I'll make like a whole video reflecting on my RuneScape character, because that's what I really want to do, is just really make these vlogs and reflect on, you know, my character. And six months ago, a year ago, however long ago, it really was since I started making these vlogs. But fletching, doing the same thing, it's actually going pretty good. Like I said before, I'm really a fletching machine. I mean, last night I was watching the movie Quarantine, because Quarantine 2 is coming out in, like, I think two two or three weeks. So, I only saw Quarantine the movie, so I wanted to see it again to refresh my memory before I see number two. But otherwise, I got some cool stuff I want to talk about today. Firstly, yes, I will be doing a live show, um, probably later on, like right now it's 1.30, so... Maybe, like, you know, 1.30 EST, Eastern Standard, so maybe, like, around, I don't know, but I'll upload a video on my main channel, basically saying I'm on Blog TV, and then, you know, we can have a little hoopa hoopa party. Um, but otherwise, the stuff that I really want to talk about is, now, I haven't really been into free-to-play worlds that much. I don't go into free-to-play worlds, mainly because, uh, like... It's just, I stay in members, and reason being is because, well, Fletching is a member, so that's first of all, and more than about probably like 80% of my bank are membered items, well, maybe not 80, more like probably 60, oh, okay, a little more than 60, maybe 70, damn it, but the point I'm trying to say is that a lot of people, they say member worlds are like poor in a way. And I mean, if you guys are non-members, I highly just suggest you guys become members, because just because the gameplay is a lot better. I mean, I was a free-play person for, like, two days, and then I remember my friend who got me started into RuneScape, I'm like, okay, so if I pay five bucks a month for this, where else can I go in, on RuneScape? And he's like, oh, you can do all this. I'm like, okay, five bucks is really nothing. <laughs> it really is nothing. I told you guys multiple times before how you can make moolah, like, eat, like real money. Just ask everybody you know for a quarter. Say, hey, can I have a quarter? Hey, can I have a quarter? And since the majority of you motherfuckers are in school, school or whatever, you see hundreds and hundreds of people every single day, so then you can just be like, hey, can I borrow a quarter, or rather have a quarter, because I need to make a phone call. Hey, can I have a quarter? Hey, can I have a quarter? Chances are, by the end of the week, you'll probably make, probably, I'd say, close to $50. So anyways, I was in a free-to-play world, like, last night, just walking around, and I mean, free-to-play worlds are really different than members, mainly because, well, the, all right, yes, they, of course, they're going to be different. That's, like, kind of retarded for me to say that, but the reason why they're different is because, you know, they can't wear the same armor as us, so therefore, if you go into the GE and, like, World 2 or something, which is, like, a trading world, you see multiple people with party hats, uh, god swords, all expensive shit, you know, spirit shields, uh, third age stuff, and then you go into, like, you know, non-member worlds, and they really don't have that, but I was in the non-member world, and it just, like, it was, I don't know, it looked kind of, like, poor in a way, and I really don't mean to be, like, mean, because I know some people live on, like, free play worlds and stuff like that, but you need to get membership, damn it. Because member worlds are just really a lot better, if you really think about it. Well, you can do a lot more stuff. Although, Dungeoneering is free play, which is kind of cool. Because when was the last time Jagex released, like, a free-to-play skill? Because Construction, that's members. Uh, then, uh, 
Hunter, that's members. Yeah, Hunter is I'm pretty sure Hunter is members. Summoning is members, I know that. So it's kind of cool that they made it free to play. Otherwise, another person wanted to know if I did my clue scroll yet. Um, no, I haven't done my clue scroll that I've had in my bank for a few years now. Reason being is because I just don't want to do it. I mean, okay, I will get something probably, you know, I will get moolah out of it, but I really just don't want to. Like, I don't want to. But then again, if it's like a, like a, um... The, the third age item or something like that and it's like a third age plate <laughs> that's over a hundred mil of course if i ever got a third age plate from a clue scroll i would keep it i would never sell it that's a you see that's why if i did the clue scroll and i got a really expensive item i just keep the motherfucker so either way it's kind of like the clue scroll has really no wealth right now but it could have wealth but then i just keep the item in my bank because i would never sell it and that's really my suggestion on things. Don't sell your shit, damn it. Especially now, since all rares are kind of going up, 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 up. Then, you know, like some people, all right, like I got a, a message from one of you guys. And one of you guys said you just bought a Santa hat. And then it went down by three mil. And you're like, you know, it took me a while to buy, you make all the money for it. Do you think I should sell it? Say, or do you think I should just keep it? And I said to keep it. Do whatever you did to make more money, and then just keep your Santa hat. Because, guys, once you, and I made a guide on this. Once you buy a rare item, you keep it forever. You, like my friend with seven Santa hats. I, I you know, I, I, I find it kind of funny because he has seven damn Santa hats. And he's made, like, at least 100 mil off each Santa hat. And he's never going to sell them, ever, ever, ever. And therefore, yeah, so just keep your items, damn it. But to be honest, guys, do I think free play worlds are actually kind of poor? I really don't, in a way. It's just really, they kind of look it. But to be honest, they're really not. Because they just don't have, they cannot hold or buy membered items. There are probably tons of people that are really, that have a ton of moolah on free play that we really don't know about. But, therefore, they can't really buy, like, God Swords, Spirit Shields, um, a Bandos Armor, or any expensive armor. The only thing they really can buy is maybe, like, a Party Hat, Halloween Mask, and then what else is there to buy for armor? Really nothing. You, you guys know what I'm saying? It looks poor, but in reality, it's just that they don't have, they can't wield the same items we do. So, that really does make sense. But, damn it, everybody should be a member. I mean, really, everyone should be a member so you can play RuneScape in the full advantage of runes, RuneScape. You don't have to be, like, just in, like, half of the world. I could never do that. Just be in, like, one section of the world. That's, like, that's like keeping you confined, damn it. That would piss me off. But, guys, like I said before, I will be doing a live show. Just, you know, some question answering, some fun stuff, you know. Uh, look out for that video later on today. Otherwise, right now, I just want to go to my email address, asknightmarage at yahoo.com. Uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, <laughs> first question. Uh, and yes, I will be fletching for someone, so I'll probably be seeing you know a lot of you guys on RuneScape. First question, RuneScape name, Snowboard Air. So, Nightmare, if you never started playing RuneScape, what do you think you would be doing right now? Question mark, question mark. All right. If I never played RuneScape and just like, because RuneScape is like the video game that I play. So there, like I don't play any other video games, just RuneScape is really the only thing that I play. So if I wasn't playing RuneScape, then I just, I'm a gamer, okay? I, I grew up as a gamer, I love video games, video games I'll be playing probably till I die, alright? That might sound kind of messed up, but it really isn't, because how many of you guys watching know for a fact that you'll still be playing video games when you get older. You know, you see what I'm saying? But I'd just be playing other video games, probably console games, other type of video games. It's just RuneScape, whenever I have free time, I choose to play RuneScape rather than play like a console game like Grand Theft Auto or some shit like that. So if I never started playing RuneScape, I'd most likely just play other video games. But then again, other video games gets really, really boring really, really fast. 
That's the only shitty thing about other video games. Moving on! Ah! Dimer, I have a question for you. I have 78 fire making, and I have a few fire making questions. What is the best place to fire make? Like a place that's straight line to the west. Also, how long do you think it would take me about 7 to 10 hours a day? RS name, Land. L-A-N-D, Land. Wow, that's a pretty original name. <laughs> This question was sent to me March 24th, holy shit. So you're probably a lot, you know, maybe 99 fire making, but the best place that I, I got 99 fire making in Brock, the East Bank, because I would run all the way to the east and then I would move myself back. That's a good place to fire make. Um, I, I think that's really a good place to fire make. Also, Yaniel uh, has long sidewalks, so you can fire make there. 7 to 10 hours a day, depending what you do, you would get a hell of a lot of experience. Probably like 1 mil experience a day. So, probably take you like a, maybe, you know, a little over a week, depending on how many hours you play. But guys, that's really all I got to blog about today. Once again, I'll be doing a live show, so I'll probably see a lot of you guys there. Um, if you got anything for me, leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment. Also, thanks for subscribing for future vlogs, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the day, guys. Bye.